Right. I won't tell you how many times I've had this loosened off, but I don't know if you can see, but that's where I'm at. I'm back to square one, just so you can see. Um, it's definitely a bit of a headbanger, but <laughs> I am fully bonded with this wheel now. Um, <clears throat> I've become a bit of a perfectionist. I think I've had it twice bang on, bang on as far as I can get it. And I keep thinking, I'll do a little bit more, and I wish I hadn't. So here I am. I've, got, I've just seen I've got one bent spoke here. I've got to replace that. Um, I bent that, so I know how that happened. Um, I was trying to get the tyre off, which was an absolute mummer of a nightmare. Anyway, <clears throat> if you're going to take this job on, you need a few bits of gear. Obviously, you need the truing jig. You're going to need a turntable. I say, obviously, you don't have to, but yeah, it makes it easier. The secret weapon is this very expensive guy here. Um, the red bit's mine. Um, it's basically like a depth gauge attached to with a socket on the t on the head. Um, with this, I can get it nearly bang on before getting into trying to true it. This using this basically does the job. I'm not actually sure how you do it any other way. Uh, by using this alone, it takes you to a near finished position. 